So we've got a bunch of just little jobs to do on this amp today. Um, as you remember, we figured out that the transformer had blown. So what's going to have to happen here is we're going to have to replace the transformer. And also this really unique rotary power switch fails to work as well. So I'm going to take a look and see if perhaps there's a chance we can save it in this video. But I don't really know. And it would be a shame if we can't because it is such a unique switch. And it seems to be working okay, like the click-click thing works okay. I'm hoping maybe there's just some corrosion. And uh, that will make it, I don't know, go a little better, I guess. So let's have a look in here just to show you what we're working with and see what we can, you know, figure out. So hook the probes up here. These are my uh, Probe Master probes. They're the gold-plated ones. I absolutely love them. And we give it the old twisty twist and a little too tight for the hands. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Alright, so we got the transformer out. You can take a look here. You can see uh, TF105P is the, uh, the code on there. And this is the heart and soul of a vacuum tube amplifier, and this is the, one of the two reasons that, you know, vacuum tube amplifiers sound the way they do if you're that type of audiophile. I'm just showing you the different uh, things here. The black and white wires are the inputs. The red wires are the B plus, and the green wires are the filament. This is where the, uh, the live comes in through the plug, through the fuse, and then it's going to go to the switch and the indicator light. What I want to figure out is uh, if that indicator light is working, so I just wired it in. Yes, we actually have something here that works. The indicator. Great. That's one thing off the list. Okay, so trying to get this switch open, see if we can't have a look inside, get to the contact, you know, clean them off. Again, but with this much corrosion, this thing looks like it might have been in a flood at some point. But it is a 1960s era switch, which means, you know, there's really not a lot going on inside here. I'm going to put some witness marks on it so I can figure out what I'm doing and, you know, get it back together. I want to make sure everything comes in and out easily, and I, I have those little ears bent enough so that everything. All right, and now I have taken a uh, wire brush on the Dremel and cleaned uh, everything about as good as I could. Couldn't get in there too far on some of the parts. You can see my witness mark with the pen there. But that's all looking good. I'm going to clean them solder boogers off of there and uh, come back in. I, I really want to preserve this. This is a CRC contact cleaner, kind of like Deoxit, but available at my local auto parts store, which Deoxit is not. So, Plus, this is a, I get a giant can of this for like, I think it's $11. And that equal size of Deoxit might be about $75. I don't know. I haven't bought Deoxit in a while. So it looks like that little ear sticking down is our contact, and it fits into that little space in there. Line up my witness marks. And put that together. And we'll fold those ears over. I'm going to do it by hand at first because I don't want to take a chance of putting too much pressure and snapping this, you know, 50-some year old, uh, well, 60-some year old little thin pieces of pot metal and then, you know, we're done before we even started. Then we'll get some pliers and we'll cramp, uh, clamp everything down. We won't cramp it down. We'll clamp it down. We'll jet clamp it on down. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe we won't. Who can tell? All right. Hook the old uh, meter leads back up on here and see if about an hour of tinkering with this switch at 530 this morning did any good. And it did not. But that's okay. I mean, it was worth a try to save the vintage switch. I'm just going to put in a heavy-duty uh, AC-rated toggle switch, and uh, we'll go with that. 
So hopefully uh, the new transformer will be here in a day or two, and uh, we can put that in, put in a toggle switch. And if you like this video, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. That's it.